Razor. I am not using uh, Kamisori. I have a just a regular German uh, folding straight razor here, but I've gone through a lot of the steps and I've worked on this razor already f for about 20 minutes. This here is an image of the bevel set that I made using the 2000 grit Shapton. That's photo number uh, 1408. 1409 is after four minutes on Botan Nagra, Mikawa Nagra. 410 is after uh, three minutes on Coma Nagra. And then 411 is after ele um, five strokes on silic uh, silicone oxide. Um, silicone carbide, I mean, I'm sorry. And then photo number 1412 is after another six minutes on silicone carbide. I'll refer these photos um, later on my blog. I'll go back to them and post them. Okay, so now I have um, the same razor. Here's the strap charged with silicon carbide. I'll set that aside. Here's the Shapton 2000 grit. I'll set that aside. Here's my uh, Botan and here's my nog my coma. I'll set those aside. Here's the silicon carbide. This actually is from Japan. Um, it's something that I've had in my shop for years. Very fine. Okay. So now I'm. I've already put um, six minutes on this stone, vibrating. Uh, the razor with clear water and I've tried to do the the one to two millimeter strokes which I found impossible so I'm using what I would consider to be about five millimeter strokes and I've done uh, like I said six minutes already and it's very difficult to do this and Personally, I am putting some weight on the razor. The idea of no weight or the weight of the razor is, in my opinion, ridiculous. And I'm considering that my strokes are about five millimeters long instead of one to two. So I feel like I can cut the time in half. So I've done six minutes already. I'm going to do another uh, two minutes here. And you can see what a monotonous labor-intensive stroke this is. I don't know how Iwasaki-san could do it for 10 or 15 minutes, but I'm going to try to do it for 8 at least. Now you notice I'm only affecting the toe half of the blade. I'm not doing down at the heel. I, I see no reason to do the whole blade. Uh, this area here is maybe a little bit longer than a normal uh, kamisori but to do the whole western blade is just uh, too much effort and for this experiment it, it's meaningless anyhow because I'm just profiling a very small portion of the blade but one good thing about doing this is at the heel portion of the blade I preserved the botan and the coma polish for uh, a fresh look through the microscope so you'll be able to see what effects this little vibrating stroke has on the stone and compare them directly to what the virgin blade looked like before I went to this side stroking uh, vibrating type stroke so I'm at about uh, I'm at about 
um, a minute and a half here, so I'll go another 30 seconds. I can't see a barber doing this realistically in his shop with four or five razors every night or every two days or every week, whatever it might be. But there may be some people who could do this. I don't see someone who's honing razors professionally doing this uh, and being cost effective. It's sort of a tedious uh, procedure here. Okay, so that's about another two minutes, which means I do have uh, about eight minutes on this portion of the blade. This portion down here, like I said, still has the Botan Coma polish on it. So let me rinse the blade off. I have clear water. That was a clean stone. And there's a clean rag. So many of you know I have a microscope. And here it is right here. And I have the ability to um, change with this switch viewing from the uh, binoculars to directly to the computer screen. So let me bring the um, blade into view and I'll get it in, into focus and I'll also make the blade parallel to the uh, viewing screen on the inside so it looks straighter. Okay, now what I'm looking at here this is this is the blade as it left the coma stone. And I can focus that in a little bit tighter. The coma did leave a pretty nice polish on the blade. And of course you have to look at the edge there also. It is fairly refined. I can see a false edge or a type of ragged type edge um, right up in this area up here. It's not perfectly straight, but this is at 315 power. So I'll take a photo of that. That will be photo number 1412. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is st scroll directly down through the middle of the bevel all the way down to the base of the bevel. Now, the camera's gone out of focus, but I will focus that. Okay, here is where the face of the razor meets the bevel. That would be right here. Uh, on these German razors, they polish the face of the razor up quite nicely. So there's no real scratches down here. Those are It's like a mirror finish. And right here is the very base of this um, of the bevel, the current be bevel on this razor. Okay, I'll take a photo of that and then I'm also going to take a photo that's generally in the middle of this uh, bevel. And I'll focus that in better. Okay, so you can see uh, the scratches are somewhat diagonal but generally they're straight on. Okay, you're going to be surprised about this now. Okay, let me go back up to the very edge. Here's our edge again. Focus that in. Okay, now I'm going to scroll the razor all the way down to where uh, we were working on the tip of the razor or towards that end of the razor. I'm about a quarter of the way down. You can see here's, here's some more of those same type of uh, linear scratches. I'm going to go way down, farther, 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 all the way down to, I have to go sort of fast now because it's so far down. I mean at 315 power. This is how long it takes to look at the edge of a razor. Uh, here's the middle of the blade right here. Try to focus it in a little bit as I go along.
Okay, so now we're towards the middle of the razor, getting closer towards the tip. Uh, well, we're not even three quarters of the way there yet. I'm going to put it all the way up three quarters away from the heel, which is one quarter of the way to the tip. Okay, here's the area that I was working on the short five millimeter long strokes. This is just a sample. I, I just randomly stopped here. And I'm going to focus in and take a photo of that. Okay, and I'm going to scroll along just a little bit farther. I want you to look at the edges and you can still see those linear scratches that lead from the edge. I know you're looking at these long parallel scratches that go the length of the blade, but look at the scratches up at the edge of the razor. You can still see that there are multiple scratches and of course you have a sawtooth pattern of, you know, the Okay, that was photo number 428, 1428, at the edge again, down a quarter of the way away from the toe. Now I'm going to scroll down on the bevel. You can see, as you go along, there are all these long scratches. Now this is what Iwasaki said you have to be careful of by not having large pieces of grit. And Believe me, I tried my best, and to the naked eye, these are probably really difficult to see. I'm a, I'll take a photo, but they are the result of that side stroke method. And I'm going to go down. Here's the base of the bevel down here. As you can see, I'll take another photo, and there are still some of those random long scratches that go that odd stroke scratch there could be uh, from this side stroke or it could be from a bevel setting step but I don't think it is I think it's all associated I just made irregular strokes I think it's maybe I was scratching my nose or something at that point but anyhow you can see the bevel down here is just totally full of of these scratches, which means this part of the blade was touching the stone. I don't see any of those those uh, more vertical type scratches anywhere here. And I think if you look back at this video, you'll see they've pretty much all been eliminated by the side stroke. But when we go back up towards the the bevel, I mean the edge, they look, they come back into view. And the closer we get it up to the edge, the more of those scratches you see. So what was happening, I guess if I continued another um, couple minutes or four or five minutes uh, doing the side stroke, and I'll do that, I may have polished the bevel down to a point where these Vert more vertical um, scratches would be gone. But after eight minutes of intense work, I didn't even get close to polishing that bevel or the edge, the bevel at the edge, I mean. So this is just one example of how side stroke sharpening at the water only level, clear water has less effect down at the base of the bevel as opposed to up near the the edge of the razor which is get carried away here which here we are looking at again so I'm pretty sure that with my poor technique when I put another four or five or how many minutes it takes to get rid of those scratches there will be more and more of those linear scratches that go from right to left.